The entire Old Testament is about God throwing repeated vengeful tantrums about an obvious mistake or misstep he took in creation. That's Genesis chapter 6. Because there's 66 books in the Bible. He's already tired of us in the sixth chapter of the first one. It's very clear the project ain't working. Or it wasn't working. So Jesus came to fix it. It seemed like it might have gotten even worse. We don't know. A redeemer is somebody who's supposed to have come back to the planet to fix what we screwed up. This is called the season of the Yuletide season when many billions, at least two billion people are going to celebrate the birth of whom many call the Prince of Peace, Jesus. But the principle of peace itself is ignored. Can you live a non-threatened life? Absolutely. Excuse me? Absolute. Now, solution is in there. That's, if that's part of that word. There is a solution. So that's a perfect answer. The solution is, I changed the way I think about everything. Again, starting with fear of God. Anybody you fear, you will never really trust. You might obey. You might serve. You might even worship. But if you fear God, as we're taught in most religions, then you never really trust that God. You'll never really trust yourself and you'll never really trust anybody. The real communion is that you are reminding other people of their divinity as you express, walk out, and work out your own. Glory to God in the higher ways of thinking.